Now, Africans from across the continent call Washington, D.C. their home. Their presence and influence in the U.S. Capitol was recognized in 2006 with the establishment of the Mayor's Office on African Affairs. Now, next week, here in the U.S. Capitol, the office of D.C. Mayor Vincent Gray is holding his first town hall meeting to hear the concerns of the city's African community. Close to 11,000 of Washington's residents are African-born, with the majority coming from Ethiopia, Nigeria, and Ghana. And Africans are among the most highly educated Washington immigrants earning on average $53,000 per year. Now joining us for more about the objective of the town hall meeting is Ngozi Mezi, director of the Mayor's Office on African Affairs. Ms. Mezi, thank you so much for coming back. Oh, thank you for having me. So tell us a little bit about this town hall on Tuesday. Certainly. What's the objective? Well, the objective of the town hall is to get the um, African uh, immigrant community and the diverse uh, communities um, of African origin in the district to come out and discuss concerns and issues and interests mm -hmm. um, of the African community. How cohesive would you say the African community is, as we just pointed out, that you have the largest group coming from Ethiopia, then Nigeria, Ghana, is f as different as they can be, even Egypt. When they raise concerns, is there some kind of uh, unanimity about what they want? Well, yes, I think that, um, you know, obviously the office is tasked with, um, you know, uh, creating a community out of so many different diverse communities. We don't have to speak about the uh, diversity of continental Africa and mm -hmm. um, Africans here in the district. Um, but I think that the unifying factor is, is the issues. I mean, I, I think a lot of the issues um, run across different cultures and um, different eth ethnic groups. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I anticipate that most of the um, interest and concerns and the issues will um, really kind of unify uh, the African constituency here in the district. So when they come out to this town hall meeting the first, and um, many things have been held under your office from African festivals to other kind of discussions. Now that you're having this town hall where everybody's going to come in and share their views, offer suggestions, what is the likely outcome? What can they expect will happen uh, through this town hall? Well, certainly, I think that's a wonderful question. Um, I think that um, once the um, issues and concerns and suggestions are out on the table, it's left to the administration to see what's feasible and also what we can do to really kind of um, take these concerns and issues into account and um, hopefully use it to kind of shape um, programs within the office and also um, to educate the cabinet members that will be in attendance as well as the larger community on um, you know, what the issues are and the concerns and the suggestions um, within the African community. So it's a, it's a really, um, really um, great opportunity for us to have a dialogue um, and have the larger community as an audience as well as the cabinet members and the mayor. And the significance of the fact that the mayor himself, Vincent Gray, will be there so people can actually engage with him directly. What does that say about his commitment to the community? I think you mentioned it last time you were here. Mm -hmm. I think that um, it, it really speaks volumes to the type of mayor that he is. Uh, again, I I'm have to say that he is a mayor that is really uh, focused on the community and community development. Um, you know, he really wants to hear the voice of the community. He wants um, to be inclusive. Uh, he wants to um, ensure that everyone's voice is heard in the way that we're governing. So it just speaks volumes to the type of mayor that he is. Share with us a little bit about what is the conversation going on right now in the African community about their influence within the city and what the expectations are generally. Uh, do they, most of them express interest in having a more of a political role, maybe being more represented in certain aspects or offices within the, 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 the DC office? Mm -hmm. um, I think that one of the um, major issues I would say is the uh, paradox of um, the African immigrant community in that they are the um, most educated, um, you know, newer um, in terms of the other immigrant groups and younger. Most of them are within working age, but um, they are most likely to live um, below the poverty line. So I think that the community wants to hear um, answers or, 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 su or suggestions or um, I should say um, different uh, remedies uh, for, for, for that statistic. Mm -hmm. um, what, what kind of programs do we have for um, you know, immigrant um, placement or um, to connect them with, with different jobs that match the skills that they've earned in their, in their homelands? Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Ngozi Mezi is uh, the director of the Washington, D.C. Mayor's Office on African Affairs, and she joined us here on In Focus.